Hello first grade! Are you ready for some homework fun? Today we're going to look at bag 24. Bag 24. Let's see what's inside. We have our instruction sheet, our homework journal that we'll save for later, and a deck of cards. So, today we are going to play a game kind of like go the we're going to play a game kind of like go fish however what we're going to do is make tens instead of matching number to number like a seven with a seven we are going to be making tens so i want to show you what our cards are first of all we have some jokers okay we don't need those those can go right back inside then we have an ace. You're going to use your ace as the one, okay? So if you got a nine and you needed a one, you're going to use the ace for your one, okay? A jack is a 10, queen is a 10, king is a 10, and a 10 is a 10, okay? So you have all of these that are your tens when you're making your matches for tens, okay, you can, Discard, you get to keep these as your, like a match, like you've won already, because it's already a 10. So it takes two people to play this one. Okay, so you give it a little shuffle, 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 shuffle. Let's see, my shuffling skills are not that great. Oh man. Okay, there we go, good enough. So, you're going to hand out five cards to each player. Two, three, four, five. Okay, that's mine. That's my partner's. The rest of them go in the pond. Okay, here we are. Those are in our pond. So I'm going to look at my cards and I'm going to see if, first of all, if I have any of them that make a 10. I do not have any that, oh, I do have some that make a 10. Look, nine and one, that's a pair of 10. So I'm gonna put that to the side. And I also already have a 10. So I get to put that one to the side. So I only have two cards left to match. So I might be the winner really quick. Okay, so then my partner would do the same thing. So my partner is going to look at his. Ooh, he already has a 10. <gasps> he has two 10s. All right. So I will then ask my partner if he has one of my cards that will make a match. So do you have a five? Go fish. Okay. I'm going to choose. Let's hope for a five. Nope, not a five. Go ahead. You get to ask me now. Do you have a... Six. Go fish. Do you have an eight? Go fish. <gasps> I got a ten though. Do you have a... Do you have a seven? Go fish. Did you get your wish? Oh. Hmm. Uh, I have to ask you again. Do you have an eight? Go fish. Oh, I didn't get an eight yet. But I got a queen. Do you have a four? Go fish. Do you have a nine? Go fish. Oh, man. Uh, do you have a four? Go fish. So, we will go on and on and on until somebody is out of cards. Whoever gets out of cards first is your winner, okay? So, what you would then do is you would turn to your next available page in your homework journal. And where it says page, we write the bag number. So we cross that off. This is bag 24. We do the date, and today is Monday. 
So let's say that I won. Let me get rid of these over here because I didn't use those. So let's say that I was the winner. On Monday, I am going to record all of the pairs that I made in my homework journal because I was the winner. So I did a 5 plus 5 equals 10. Then I had a 10 plus 0. That was the queen equals 10. I had a jack, which was another 10 plus 0 equals 10. Then I had the king, and that was another 10 plus 0 equals 10. And then I have a 9 and a 1. 9 plus 1 equals 10. So I would record on Monday all of the matches in the winning hand, okay? On Tuesday, I would turn the page, write Tuesday, I would write uh, bag 24, and then on Tuesday, instead of recording all of the matches in the winning hand, we would do all of the matches in the youngest person, the youngest player's hand. On Wednesday, we do all of the matches in the oldest player's hand. And then on Thursday, you're going to write, after you play, you're going to write all of the different ways to make 10. So 0 plus 10, 10 plus 0, 9 plus 1, 1 plus 9, 2 plus 8, 8 plus 2, all the way down. You're going to do all of the ways that you know how to make 10. Okay? So... On Thursday, when you're done with that, you're going to clean everything up, okay? Make sure that you put everything back nice and neat for the next person. Okay, nice and neat. And you're going to clean it all up, put it all in. And you're going to put it back inside your bag. So. You make sure you put in your instruction sheet, the deck of cards, and your homework journal. And you're going to bring it back to school on Friday. Have fun!